Near the city, this impressive group of cisterns was found. Here, we can see the water entrance channel coming from the aqueduct. And we see that just as in the Bilbilis systems, the water outlet for the supply is in the upper part. So this does not look like a storage container either. But if it is not a container, why is it so large? What was its function? We will recall the small sandboxes of the Tiermes inspection wells. There, thanks to the recess at the bottom of the wells, sand and other suspended particles in the water were collected. The cisterns of Bilbilis, and in general those of all the Roman cities, have precisely this function, but on a much larger scale. Let's look at one of these in Italica. Water entered through the upper part and circulated through the cistern. Thanks to the large size of the cistern, water slowed down to almost nothing, allowing all particles in suspension to fall to the bottom by gravity. That is to say, they precipitated down, leaving the water clean of any solids in suspension. This process is called decanting. So these cisterns are, in fact, decanters. They were not used to store the water, but to purify it. The cleanest water is that closest to the surface, and for this reason the water outlet is at the top, just slightly below the entry level.